Greetings, I'm Jeffrey Short. I'd like to comment today on why it is a bad idea to go to the hospital. Now, here's the really bad news. 75,000 patients die every year due to infections acquired in the hospital. Now, in 2011, 722,000 cases of hospital-acquired infections were reported by the Center for Disease Control. Now, that was the latest year that the CDC had data for. In any, on any given day, one in 25 hospital patients becomes infected. Boy, those are bad odds. So what's happening? Seems we don't clean out our hospitals very well, and we overdose with antibiotics. How bad is it? Let's take the belief we all seem to have that antibiotics will cure all of our illnesses. Hmm. Seems then that our antibiotic overuse, and sometimes inappropriate use, bears a heavy responsibility for creating the superbugs that are resistant to lots of antibiotics. And if you were not aware, tens of millions of pounds of antibiotics are administered to American livestock every year. And their use isn't just to keep them healthy. Seems the antibiotics make the animals grow bigger faster. 80% of all the antibiotics in the United States are used by the agricultural industry. So what you eat may be killing you. Now the CDC has concluded that as much as 22% of antibiotic resistant illness in humans is in fact linked to food. Uh, they also reported that a staggering 2 million American adults and kids become infected with antibiotic resistant bacteria each year and at least 23,000 of them die as a direct result of the infections. Now it seems that the hospitals are undoubtedly among the most dangerous places to find these bacteria. Now the powerful broad spectrum antibiotics used today kill the bad bacteria that makes us sick but it also kills the good bacteria in our systems, leaving us vulnerable. Many doctors are taking new approaches to prescribing antibiotics to try and reduce the increasing resistance problems. Now, what are they doing in the hospitals to clean things up? Well, as Betsy McAfee, founder of the Committee to Reduce Infection Deaths, says, quote, if you are visiting someone in the hospital, forget the flowers and the candy, bring bleach swipes. It could save the patient's life. Several hospitals are going back to bleach as the cure for bad bugs. So if you smell bleach when you are roaming the hospital corridors, that's a good thing. Now, if you have to check in to a hospital, do it during the week. Seems that there have been studies that have determined that if you check in over the weekend, you are more likely to die within 30 days compared to those who check in during the week. Now, the U.S. statistic in this department was 13%. So this weekend effect has been studied a bunch and is generally accepted as truth. Seems some testing that might occur routinely when all staff are present during the week might not happen over the weekend. Things like same day brain scans or clotting treatments. Okay, so I have learned that I shouldn't go near a hospital unless it is absolutely necessary. And once I get there, I should use a bleach swipe before I touch anything. And I shouldn't let anybody touch me. Well, don't know how that's going to work. And I know that I have to question my doctor at any time he suggests an antibiotic to cure what ails me. Hmm. Learned a lot today. Thanks for watching and God bless. Find us on Cox Channel 15 or Verizon Channel 34, Saturday at 4 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Find us on the web at www.gaspyproject.com slash Common Sense Rhode Island. Like us on Facebook at Common Sense RI. And follow us on Twitter at at sign Common Sense RI.